methods I like to use the whole gym, not just certain things. Always change up, always challenge yourself, always try to do something new or add something new, you know, in each workout if you can. Um, it's always great to shock your body. And it's just fun for me, you know, to change up, do something different, challenge myself, you know? You never know what you can do. You never know what you can accomplish unless you push the work. BB Pro, Johnny O'Jackson here, and I'm here at Destination, getting ready to give you guys a little taste of my chest workout again. It's been a long time, um, so since it's been so long, and I guess you guys haven't seen me do this, so uh, this is a little different uh, intro for me, is that I'm mixing up my uh, madness, uh, pineapple passion is uh, what I'm using today, um, awesome pre-workout. Um, if you hadn't seen it, there's an awesome commercial I shot for Madness, for Mutant, as well, that you can look up. Go to immutant.com and look up the Madness commercial uh, featuring who else but me. You kidding me? Um, awesome. But anyway, like I said, I'm here at Destination. Uh, chest workout today. It's been a little while. Oh, by the way, you remember this face? A little bit cleaner since the last time you see it. Um, so I'm just going backwards. I'm getting younger, by the way. Just letting you know what's going on. Anyway, happy to be here. I'm feeling motivated today, feeling strong. So uh, grab your popcorn, get on the couch, settle in, buckle up. Like I always say, it's easy to jump on. But man, it's hard to jump off. It's time to get it. time doing bench press this is really rare for me because um, I kind of got away from it and the uh, only reason why is because my workout partner I was with he didn't like the bench press so much because um, uh, it was kind of difficult for his shoulders so uh, uh, we rarely uh, flat bench press but we did a lot of incline and a lot of dumbbell flat bench um, but I like to change things up from time to time and I started out doing at least three warm-up sets so important to warm yourself up before you get into the heavy weight. So, uh, you know, three warm-up sets, then I go right into my work sets. Um, I usually go about, well, my warm-ups between 10 and 15 reps, and then work sets um, anywhere from eight to 10. Just depends on how, or I'm sorry, anywhere from six to 10. Just depends on how heavy I go. From bench press, I love doing heavy compound movements. I mean, to grow, to really grow, get deep into the muscle tissue, so when it recovers, it recovers bigger and stronger, you have to do compound movements. A lot of people preach and talk about get away from bench press and the, you know, heavy compound movements. I don't know why, this is our bread and brother of, uh, you know, bodybuilding. 
you know, what changes your physique. Um, so I'm down for it and I always do it. So uh, from bench press, like I said, to incline press. Today, I'm training chest. Um, not doing anything in particular, uh, per se. I'm um, just getting a good feel of the gym. Um, I just feel good today. You know, I feel like going, you know, as heavy as my body will let me go. Um, it's definitely been good about um, not getting ready for something uh, or something right there in front of you. Um, you can come into the gym sometimes and go with the way you feel and not feel pressured to do a certain thing no matter how you feel, no matter what. You know, and that's more than not, that's how it was when I came into the gym. Is I had a goal, I had to accomplish a certain, you know, accomplishment. So I felt pressured all the time to get it done. Um, right now, I feel relaxed and having fun and uh, feeling good and feeling it out and see what my body can do and push it. You know, as long as it's feeling good and scale back once I know uh, it's time to scale back. So uh, just trying to be smart, but also have a really great and heavy workout. movements which was bench press incline press the dumbbell bench press this is one of my favorite exercises and with the weight you'll see What I did is a prime example of jumping a gun. You know, I jumped up from 120s to the 170s. Uh, I felt good and I thought I had the strength to get them, uh, but it takes so much energy to grab them, pick them up off the ground and sit down with them. You know, I didn't calculate that as well. And uh, that kind of wiped me out, getting them in position. So pressing them was, you know, almost impossible for me. Uh, so I had to dump them dropped down to 150s and uh, as you see it did 10 reps with the 150s. Like I said, that's the prime example of you know graduating up properly. Where from the 120s, I went should have went to the 150s, and then tried the 170s. It would have made a whole lot of sense. And with the way I did it, I really risked hurting myself, you know, creating some kind of injury. Um, so that was a prime example of take your time, graduate up to a week, uh, just because you feel good and feel spunky. 
Don't mean you should go and jump at it. Always think in the gym. At the end of the workout, I love to finish either with cable or machine pec deck or cable crossovers. I switch out from one to the other. So I like to use the whole gym, not just certain things. Always change up, always challenge yourself, always try to do something new or add something new, you know, in each workout if you can. Um, it's always great to shock your body. And it's just fun for me, you know, to change up, do something different, challenge myself, you know? You never know what you can do. You never know what you can accomplish unless you put it to work. I'm my FPV Pro, Johnny O'Jackson, here at Destination. This is my chest workout. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Now it's time to get with Josh and get my ass kicked on deadlift. Man, you gotta love this shit. See y'all next time.